Finally, I got my old Discord account yes! back. To celebrate this, I will hold a big giveaway event for everyone who supports me all the time. The prize is a super cute Genshin Impact clay figure or a $99 Discord gift. This event is not sponsored by YouTube. I am solely responsible for the contest and deliver the prize to the winner. I won't ask you to click any weird link or download anything. The way to enter the event is simple. You just need to leave a comment under this video about what your favorite game is now or what game you wanna play in the future. I will randomly pick a winner on March 21st, East time at 11am in my new Discord server loading zone. I will leave the link in the description. Once the winner is picked, he or she has one week to contact me. If the winner hasn't contacted me in a week before March 29th, East time at 11am, I will pick a new winner. Hope everyone has good luck with the giveaway event. Today Figure Fantasy released their next figure information. Vivian. She is still a tier 0 specialist on the CN server. She is both good at PvE and PvP. In the PvE part, she can be used in the Apocalypse War and Game Carnival. In the PvP, she is used as instant kill tactics with her own sacrifice. She is a very good figure. But I don't recommend free-to-play to pull her as Vanguard and Specialist are relatively less important in this game. I suggest free-to-play to pull strong figures in tank, militarist, and support categories first. Now let's talk about her passive skill first. Vivian's basic attacks will apply a mark to the current target and a random enemy, and then her ultimate move or basic attack can detonate the mark to cause additional damage, because basic attacks can only hit the current target, so the extra target's mark mainly relies on the ultimate attack to detonate. In addition, if the damage of the mark is critical, the damage will be increased a lot. Stacking the critical attribute or pairing her with Mako and Yan can obtain greater benefits. After the passive upgrade, Vivian will apply marks to all enemies at the beginning of the battle. Most of these marks will be detonated by the first ultimate move, resulting in a good output. After the passive is upgraded to the max level, when Vivian receives negative effects at any time, her passive immediately cleanses and imprints the caster of negative effects. It is worth noting that control effects such as stun, freezing, and knockup cannot be purified, and the negative effects of some figures cannot be purified, such as Crusoe's ultimate move, Senses passive. After Vivian releases her ultimate move, she will first purify all teammates. If there are multiple negative effects on allies, only one of them will be randomly purified. After that, Vivian will randomly attack the enemy four times. As mentioned above, the mark applied by passive or basic attack mainly relies on the random attack of the ultimate move to trigger. After the ultimate move is upgraded, the damage will be additionally increased each time a random attack hits a different enemy. This effect can greatly improve Vivian's output ability against group enemies. After the ultimate move is upgraded to max level, the number of random attacks will increase by one while increasing the overall damage. It also increases the chance of triggering the mark. As a specialist, Vivian has a special job passive, and the damage received by the target of her basic attack is additionally increased, because Vivian's ultimate attack is very random, only when facing a single enemy, the professional passive effects can play the biggest role. The exclusive feature provides additional critical hit rates and critical hit damage attributes. Combined with the badge with critical hit stats, the damage can be increased a lot, which can further amplify Vivian's output ability. Recommended lineup. As mentioned earlier, Vivian, as functional support, generally does not play as the core figure in the team. Because Vivian will apply a mark after each basic attack several times, the higher the frequency of basic attacks, the more times the mark will be applied. Based on this feature, Juyu can be used to increase the speed of basic attacks. At the same time, the damage of the mark will be increased after the critical strike is triggered. As the main output source of Vivian, it can be used with support figures such as Mako and Lian to amplify the output. In addition, purification is Vivian's core function, which is mainly triggered by the ultimate move. You can choose to use the energy recovery speed provided by Zephyr to further increase Vivian's purification frequency. Attribute and Badge Recommendation 
In terms of attributes, Vivian mainly pursues crit and crit damage, and attack speed is also a good attribute, because the higher the attack speed, the higher the frequency of applying the imprint. In terms of sets, Vivian can choose quick attack sets besides crits and attack sets. In terms of badges, because of the benefits of attack speed, Vivian prefers the Phantom Badge to further improve her output ability. In addition, the Prophecy Badge and Determination Badge exclusive to the specialists are also good choices. Suitable Occasions As the main function of Vivian, Purification has a great advantage when facing enemies who are good at applying negative effects, such as Kirarobo, Pure Monster in the Adventure, as Fire Dragon Boss, Zhu Yu, Sunny, Okada Sakura, Akaki Mitsuad, Zazo and other S and Fire Poison figures, Sakura, Hai no Hara AI, Harriet, Sapphire and other figures that can cast silence, disarm, and blinding effects. Based on this function, Vivian can be used in the Apocalypse Battle and Arena. That is it for today's video. Don't forget to join the giveaway. Peace out.